Hello everyone, it's Rick Pasek, the Flatfish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we will be tying a uh, hair wing pattern, a steel head, a purple steel head hair wing. Um, I don't know who the original um, uh, um, person is who came up with this pattern. Uh, mine's got just a s slight tweak, just a, a material tweak, that's all. Um, but I take no credit for this fly. Um, but it's a phenomenal fly. I've been using it for probably close to 20 years now. Uh, absolutely deadly steelhead pattern. Um, it can catch bycatch as well. I've caught bull trout and a few others uh, on this on this pattern. So really, really good hair wing pattern. Um, yeah, so let's get tying. Uh, today in the vise, we have an A-Rex uh, HR412 low water in a size 4. Um, this is a, uh, uh, definitely a, a steelhead pattern. Um, I've caught a few, uh, bycatch with it, especially, uh, um, chum. Um, but, uh, uh this is definitely a steelhead pattern. So, uh, like I said, uh, that's size four. Um, for the, uh, body, we're going to be using some of this here, uh, SLF from, uh, uh Davey Watton. Um, it's a, I don't know if they actually have a color. Yeah, purple haze, they call it on the back. Purple haze. Really like this stuff. Um, for the uh, um, rib, rib, just some silver, silver hollow tinsel. Oof, that's hard to say. Um, for the throat, some purple schlappen. Now, this is a purple black. Um, it's kind of like almost like a grizzly schlappen. Really like this stuff. Um, but I'm running out of the more purple. Most of the stuff in here is more black. So, and then some. Uh, this it's it's a hair wing pattern, right? So it's some black uh, uh, bucktail. Okay, and for the thread, black nano silk. So just start your your thread. If you wanted this to be more uh, a deeper fish pattern, you could put a little bit of underbody. Um, flat lead on this. Um, I like controlling the descent, especially in my steelhead salmon patterns. Um, I like controlling my descent with my fly line. So, so I'm just going to come to the back here and then just come forward again. Just really make sure this front part is closed, tightened up. Okay, and then I'm going to take my silver tinsel. And just add it in, just along the side. Come on back, and I'm going to come around the bend with this, and then come back up. Just that might be a little bit too much around the bend. I like it around the bend, but it might be a bit much. Just want it barely around that bend, so about there, that's better. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just put a little silver tag on the back end of this here. And I want to come out to about the point of the hook. Come back and tie that off. Then I'm going to hold this back out of the way with my little magnet. Dollar store, guys get five of them for a buck or two bucks, something like that. Um, <clears throat> wax my thread, get my dubbing. What I'll do is I'll, I'll tighten it up as I get it on. really like this blend. You see others, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a couple of spots there that are a lot bluer than they are purple. Just love it. Just a real, uh, real nice blend of color. It's the only pack I've got of this stuff, so I'm pretty, 
pretty uh, cheap with it. I don't use it that often. I use it for like two different patterns, both steelhead patterns. Just want to build up just a little bit more here. Okay, then I'll take my silver and I'm going to counter rib it. So now I'm going to make sure that that's really well tied in. Okay, and now I'm going to take my little dubbing brush and I'm just going to pull out some of that. I want it to be a bit spiky, but you got to be careful that you don't ruin your uh, tinsel rib, right? Now, I don't know what the original name of this fly is. Um, it's not the exact copy of the original. It is a bit different, um, but um, this is my version of it. Um, but just a, such a good pattern. Okay, so, <clears throat> flopping. Just gonna get rid of all the under fluffsky. By the way, if you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, Consider doing so, it really helps the channel out. Uh, I'm gonna go a little shorter than that. Probably there. There. I don't want it too overly long, but I don't want it too short either. I do want it to come down. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a throat more than anything. Oh well, no, not more than anything. It is gonna be a throat. It's just the way I'm tying it in. So again, just a little bit of wax. Because I'm gonna hackle it, but then I'm gonna pull it all down. So just wanna make sure all these materials going backwards. Just two or three turns. One right in front of the other. And I'm going to go one more. Depends on your feathers too, right? I mean, sometimes they're a little sparser, so you want to go one extra. Sometimes they're a little thicker, you want to go one less. So it's kind of a judgment call. And I'm just going to stroke that all back. Just go over it just to make sure. Take this and see if I can helicopter it off. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to take most of that material and I'm kind of going to just push it down for a throw. And just kind of go over top of part of it and back. So nice, nice throat on the bottom. Okay. Now I've already put some bucktail into my hair stacker, this ends lined up. Now the key here is don't go too long. You don't want to go past the back end of that hook. Like don't have it back here. Um, you want it about like that, that's it. So I'm just going to transfer and I'm going to cut Wax my thread. I don't think my wax likes the uh, humid air down here, or the, the dry air down here, sorry. It uh, sure is, um, it's drying out. When I say down here, I'm in Puerto Vallarta. <clears throat> so now I just want to make sure this is all tied in nice and tight. I just want to put a nice 
good head on it before I let it go so it doesn't spread, right? Like I said, this is a different, it is a copy of a, of a different, of another fly, but it is a bit different. So, okay. Um, we finish. Nice tapered head here. I'll just do one more set right here up front here, just, just to make sure. Nice and tight. Cut that. Take my... I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but I've got a little, a little pen box. It's a little pen that my wife had. And I've got all my UV stuff in here. So I've got my UV light. And I've got paint brushes. And then I've got these little uh, contact lens things. And I pour my, my UV resin, some of it, into one of these and then and then when you cover it it doesn't the UV doesn't dry up right the resin and then I can be a little bit more exact especially since I can be quite heavy-handed with things A little bit zippity zippity zappity that <clears throat> I did notice tying I'll show you I made a mistake and I'll show you and it's it's good it's a good for you guys to see and me because I, I wasn't paying attention I was too busy yakking on the for the video but kind of cool I don't know if you guys can see that but you see that piece of green that's in there that's really lighting up with the UV. It's kind of cool. This material is so cool. It's got so many different colors in it that you don't really see. It's really neat. So just covering up my uh, contact lens kit. And this can stay wet. You just got to go back inside. As long as it's inside and out of the UV, it will not harden. Done. Okay, so the mistake I made, you see underneath here, you see where I ended with my throat? And I started, I tied in my wing back here. I should have actually brought my whole body forward a bit and then tied in my, I actually stopped too far back is what I'm saying. Because the head itself should only be this big and there shouldn't be that space there. So, but again, I was too busy yakking, not uh, paying attention to what I was doing and yeah, me talking, that doesn't happen. So, alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It is a deadly pattern. It's super, super simple, but it is really, really deadly. Make sure to brush that material out though. And if you don't have this brand <clears throat> of dubbing, it's fine. Just find a nice purple um, SLF type or, 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 or seals fur or something like that that you really like. Something that's got some shine and sparkle to it and, uh, and use that, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thailand's everyone. <laughs>